1. The Prime Minister's Employment Generation Programme, PMEGP, has been extended till which year? A. 2023-24 B. 2024-25 C. 2025-26 D. 2029-30 Hide answer. Correct answer. C. 2025-26 Notes, the Prime Minister's Employment Generation Program, PMEGP, has been approved for continuation till 2025-26 with the total outlay of 13,554.42 crore rupees. The extension of the scheme is over the 15th Finance Commission cycle for five years from 2021-22 to 2025-26. The scheme will create sustainable employment opportunities for about 40 lakh persons in five financial years. It is implemented by the Ministry of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises. 2. Which institution recently unveiled Paramananta Supercomputer? A. IIT Guwahati B. NIT Tiruchirappalli C. IIT Gandhinagar D. IIT Madras Show answer. Correct answer. C. IIT Gandhinagar Notes, the Centre for Development of Advanced Computing, CDAC, and the Indian Institute of Technology, Gandhinagar have jointly unveiled a new supercomputer called Paramananta. It was launched in Phase 2 of the Central Government's National Supercomputing Mission, NSM. The supercomputer is capable of offering peak performance of 838 teraflops. With this, India has 15 supercomputers disclosed to the public, with a combined performance capability of 24 petaflops. 3. Which institution released the report titled, Tobacco, Poisoning Our Planet? A. Nighty IO, B. World Health Organization, C. UNICEF, D. Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. Show answer. Correct answer, B. World Health Organization. Notes, the World Health Organization, WHO, released a report titled, Tobacco, Poisoning Our Planet, to coincide with World No Tobacco Day. It found that the tobacco industry is responsible for the annual loss of 8 million human lives, 600 million trees, 200,000 hectares of land, 22 billion tons of water, and releases about 84 million tons of CO2 into the Earth's atmosphere. The report called for steps to make the industry more accountable for the destruction. 4. Which state is the top sugar producer of India in 2021-22? A. Madhya Pradesh, B. Maharashtra, C. Gujarat, D. Karnataka. Show answer. Correct answer, B. Maharashtra. Notes, Maharashtra has overtaken Uttar Pradesh, UP, to regain its position as India's top sugar producer, in the year 2021-22, after five-year gap, the state's output for the 2021-22 crushing year October to September stood at 138 lakh tons, LT. That is highest ever beating the previous 107.21 lakh tons of 2018-19. Maharashtra is followed by Uttar Pradesh and Karnataka. 5. Which country has recently signed a free trade agreement, FTA, with the United Arab Emirates? A. Australia, B. Israel, C. France, D. Italy. Show answer. Correct answer, B. Israel. Notes, Israel has signed a free trade agreement with the United Arab Emirates, its first big trade pact with an Arab state. The agreement, which aimed at boosting trade between the two Middle Eastern nations, would encourage more Israeli companies to set up offices in the UAE, particularly in Dubai. Trade agreement after a similar accord with India in February. Published, June 2, 2022. 1. As per the recent NSO update, June 2022, what is the GDP growth estimate of India in 2021-22? A. 8.5%, B. 8.7%, C. 8.9%, D. 9.2%. Show answer. Correct answer, B. 8.7%. Notes, National Statistical Office, NSO, marginally slashed its year-on-year -year gross domestic product, GDP, growth forecast to 8.7%, down from 8.9% estimated in February. The fourth quarter, January to March period of 2021-22, GDP growth was recorded at 4.1%.
The economy witnessed a 6.6% contraction in 2020-21. The latest GDP growth estimate is lower than the second advance estimate of 8.9%, released in February, and first advance estimate of 9.2%, released in January. 2. What are the new annual premium rates of PMJJBY and PMSBY respectively, with effect from June 1, 2022? A. 520 rupees and 40 rupees. B. 436 rupees and 20 rupees. C. 400 rupees and 40 rupees. D. 350 rupees and 30 rupees. Show answer. Correct answer. B. 436 rupees and 20 rupees. Notes, the government raised the premium for Pradhan Mantri Jeevan Jyoti Bhima Yojana, PMJJBY, and Pradhan Mantri Suraksha Bhima Yojana, PMSBY, to make them economically viable. The premium rate of PMJJBY has been revised upward to 1 rupee and 25 paise per day, with an increase from 330 rupees to 436 rupees annually. The annual premium for PMSBY has been hiked from 12 rupees to 20 rupees. The new premium rates are effective from June 1, 2022. 3. What is the fiscal deficit recorded in India for 2021-22, in percentage of GDP? A. 7.51% B. 7.01% C. 6.71% D. 6.21% Show answer. Correct answer, C. 6.71%. Notes, the Controller General of Accounts, CGA, released the fiscal deficit for 2021-22, which improved to 6.71% of the GDP over the revised budget estimate of 6.9%. The fiscal deficit in absolute terms was 1,586,537 rupees crore, provisional, the increase was mainly on account of higher tax realization. The tax receipts during the fiscal stood at 18.2 trillion rupees as against the revised estimates, re, of 17.65 trillion rupees. 4. Who has been appointed as the MD and CEO of NARCL, National Assets Reconstruction Company Limited? A. Urjit Patel, B. Natarajan Sundar, C. Ashwani Bhatia, D. Nitin Chug. Show answer. Correct answer, B. Natarajan Sundar. Notes, former State Bank of India Deputy Managing Director Natarajan Sundar has been appointed as the Managing Director and CEO of NARCL, National Assets Reconstruction Company Limited, as MD and CEO. NARCL is the joint initiative of public and private sector banks, and is expected to take over bad loans from banks and focus on resolution and recoveries. NARCL has shareholding from 15 Indian banks and Canara Bank is the sponsor bank. 5. What is the theme of the World No Tobacco Day 2022? A. Tobacco, a threat to our humanity, B. Tobacco, a threat to our environment, C. Tobacco, a threat to health, D. Dangers of smoking. Show answer. Correct answer, B. Tobacco, a threat to our environment. Notes, World No Tobacco Day is observed on May 31st every year to create awareness of the dangers of smoking, tobacco companies and their business practices. This year's theme for World No Tobacco Day 2022 is, Tobacco, a threat to our environment. Nearly 3.5 million hectares of land are destroyed every year to grow tobacco. As per the United Nations, consumption of tobacco kills more than 8 million people every year.